today's mod is. Introducing, I wish they made the UI customizable. A name so long, it got shortened, and then shortened again. By Falky. Do things keep getting in your way? Are they UI elements? You could move them if you like. No, really, you can move them. Just use today's mod. I just call it Hootmwick. Real quick before we begin, if you want to keep the modding news and info going, please like and subscribe. Also, if you are a modder and wish to reach out to me, please feel free. My email is in the channel info, as well as you can find me on the modding discord under my channel name. First, we're going to launch our really long named app from the app bar. We can use the left and right arrows to pick the bit of UI that we want to move, and we can move every single one. We can also hide bits of the UI as well. I'm trying this to hide the game view bit that loves to show up when you are in F2 hide UI mode. There are sliders to set the positions as well as fields if you know the exact X and Y position, as well as some buttons to push things around a little bit. You do have to save your changes, otherwise when you come back to flight view, they're gonna get reset by KSP. So this time, once we move it, we are going to save the settings, and when we come back to flight view, it's going to remain in place. And I'm just going to put that right back. Don't use the Z position. It needs some work. You might find an odd position that suits you, but the development for the UI in KSP2 is still in flux, so it is subject to change. There is a reset button, but it has some quirks. Here we are going to move the nav ball up, then we are going to save it. If I go to map view, I can click the reset to put it back to its last position. Without saving, if I go to the flight, then it goes back to where we saved it to. If you switch between flight view and map view, your reset button will no longer do anything. In this case, we are going to move it again and save it. And this is going to be the position that it's going to want to go to every time we come into flight view. And now I'll do what I do is break things. I'm going to go back into map view. I'm going to move it, but I am not going to save it. Now going back to flight view, we expect it to go to the flight view position and indeed it does, but hitting reset sends it to its unsaved position that we set in the map view. My testing, this is the same for both the reset and the foobar buttons. Reset should go to its last save position and foobar should go to the KSP original position. I also had a couple cases where the UI just gave up life on me in a couple cases. I think I pushed it a little too hard. <laughs> so this mod is not without its bugs. It is in its early stages. And also, as I've said, the KSP devs are still figuring out how they're doing their UI in the game during development. And it makes it hard for Falky to take and modify the UI at this moment. So therefore, any updates to this mod is not going to be until there's a couple more updates. So probably maybe a 0.25 or a 0.3, as it requires for the KSP devs to lock down the UI a little more. There are updates and fixes planned for this. Um, I did suggest saving profiles so that you can have one layout for rockets, one layout for rovers, as well as the ability to scale each UI element independently and not just a universal scale like KSP has right now. But I will mention again, these are all waiting for KSP2 devs to update and finalize the UI and everything is subject to change. So if you're looking for a way to move or hide some elements of the UI and you're okay with the bugs that have been mentioned, this might be a mod for you. Just keep in mind that any updates are coming after a few more KSP updates. I wish they made the UI customizable. Customizable. I wish they made the UI customizable. Hoot Mwick.